Nursing is one of the fastest growing professions in the country. Bryant and Stratton College offers nursing programs with flexible schedules and online learning options to fit your lifestyle. And we offer them in stackable formats, along with no waiting lists for clinicals, so you can move on to a better career and life even faster. Classes start soon. Take the first step today at bryantstratton.edu. Bryant and Stratton College, for every and in life. For important program information and disclosures, please visit our website at bryantstratton.edu. Disclosures. What's up, everybody? This is Tim or uh, Timberlake, as they used to call me when I sang for NSYNC <laughs> with the Brothers Commonplace. Uh, thanks for checking us out. Just a quick disclaimer before we start. Uh, we're a comedy podcast that covers many serious events. We aren't here to purposely offend or disrespect any of the people involved. But at the same time, we're trying to make people laugh, crack some jokes. Thanks for listening. Be good. Stay safe. And laugh at the dark stuff. All right, fellas. Like we practiced. Yeah. Two, three, four... Come on down, come on down, hanging with the brothers tonight, yeah. Come on down to the brothers common place tonight. Alrighty, welcome everyone to the brothers common place. We are a comedy podcast that covers monsters, murders, mysteries, and more. So let's go ahead and say hello to the full crew tonight, the full Monty. Oh, yeah. Uh, What's up, guys? This is Tim or uh, Larry the Cable Guy, as you guys will call me on Halloween. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) Yes. Um, Hey, this is Toof. Uh, As I'm going for Halloween, also the transgendered lunch lady. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, dude. (laughs) Damn it. Beat mine. What up? This is Spence, the drinker of $1 margaritas. (laughs) Okay. That could be all of us. Fuck, you guys are always so good, but I'm just going to say one, two, three, it's time for you and me. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Uh, we Monty knew it. Bees. All right. We, okay. we knew it from that. That was Andrew. I did, w- you say, oh, yeah. did you say Monty Bees? <laughs> 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 I would like to say, though, like me and Toof could probably wear the same uh, Halloween costume, though. Cause, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Larry the Cable Guy, the transgender lunch woman. <laughs> same thing. Yeah. And it's me, the kid, the Cleveland Strangler, and today is our Halloween episode. And uh, before we jump into our topic for today, you guys got anything you want to talk about real quick? Have you seen those Dollaritos get made at Applebee's? Uh, well, I, I, it was happening right before me, but I didn't pay too much attention. I didn't uh, want to pay too much it's attention. It's like this giant bucket that they pour like maybe a gallon <laughs> of actual, like the cheapest alcohol you could put in. Yeah. And they mix it with like five gallons of water and then like some other mix. Wow. So it's like literally like, like 1% alcohol. So I'd be, really? I'd be really fucking trashed yeah, afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I followed it up with a top shelf one. And that was the wrong order, to be honest. Hmm. So since it's almost Halloween, you guys got any Halloween stories or anything to tell real quick? Mm. About we- you guys haven't played or messed around with the Ouija board? Um, Yeah. It's in yeah. my Amazon cart. For real? Yeah, but it's been in the cart oh. for a long time, <laughs> and I haven't, I haven't hit the go button. <laughs> Sorry, right, man. You're I've only like, I've only like messed around or played with one once, and I was like 12 or so, and I was a kid, and it was like right after Christmas, and the spirit or whatever the hell it is at like takes over when you're moving that token mm. it actually called me a pussy clown skittle dick <laughs> and like to be fair though i wasn't allowed to move the token at all and it was just like me and my dad playing <laughs> and we didn't even own a ouija board it was just my dad pointing at me saying it <laughs> so, no i've never actually played around the ouija board i mean all. i messed around with one it kind of sucked though it just ended up telling me to drink more oval team <laughs> Hey, you almost done in there? <laughs> Drink more oval team, please. Oh, Kev, that thing your dad was saying though, that'd make a great play in Scrabble. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Dude, Scrabble uh, world champion. Oh fuck yeah. I never messed with the Ouija board before, but I have actually experienced with a Mario board. <laughs> oh wait, like like legit Mario? Okay. Is that the whole thing? <laughs> Ouija Mario. Yeah, I get it. Do you see the the Waluigi <laughs> <Yeah>, board? <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks for explaining. Dude, too. I think the best part about a joke is like when everyone gets it and you just explain it again. <laughs> like it makes it funny again. You know, there was one time that I messed with the Ouija board. Then like weird shit started happening in my house, so then I had to start setting up cameras, and my kid kept getting messed with. Yeah. So yeah, that sucked really bad. <laughs> Just paranormal oh, activity. <laughs> so today's topic is not actually about uh, Ouija boards at all. I believe in a thing called Bloody Mary. 
Yes, this week's topic is about the slumber party urban legend. And I've always heard about this, about Bloody Mary as a kid, which states that if you turn off all the lights and say Bloody Mary three times in front of a mirror, that a bloody woman would appear. So today, for our Halloween episode, we're going to discuss the Bloody Mary legend and try to track its origins, where it possibly came from. And hopefully, the brothers here brought a first aid kit, because it's about to get bloody in here, like my grandma's time of the month. Oh, <laughs> nice. Let's do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Usually, women over 45 can't get periods. Yeah, but my grandma's a sexy woman. <laughs> <laughs> Your grandma's so fucking old. That one time I changed her diaper and her pussy looked like someone that just got done taking down a tent and left on the ground. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, dude, that's my sweet, that's my sweet grandmother you're talking uh, what about, too. To god, I got to block her from listening to this episode. Oh my god, I already blocked her from Facebook. So. <laughs> yeah, but she can be kind of a bitch sometimes though. Posting all those racist what? memes. Uh-huh. Dude, I have her blocked from Tinder. <laughs> Come on, dude. All righty. So let's talk. Share that Tropic Thunder picture oh. saying it's our veterans. So there are many iterations of the legend, but the one that I was most familiar with is the one where it says you should first light a candle in front of the bathroom mirror. The bathroom should have no window and the light should be off as well. And next, you are to close your eyes and chant, I believe in Bloody Mary, three times, and then open your eyes. If done correctly, you should see the face of a bloody witch staring back at you. Yeah. And when I was, like, in elementary school, it was super popular to do that. Yeah. Like, super popular. And obviously, I mean, nothing ever happened. But, I mean, it's it scares the hell out of you doing it. It was pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah. I remember doing it as a kid. We had a version... I used to play just with my uncle, but it was called Dirty Harry, <laughs> and all that is, is he would just make me wait in the bathroom for like a couple hours, and he would come in super drunk and just make me kick him in the asshole. <laughs> so the concept is that the mirror is actually a gateway to the spirit world or some sort of ghost-like portal. Uh, when you were talking about uh, Dirty Harry, mm-hmm. I played one with my dad, too. Mm. <laughs> yeah. It was called Bloody Harry. <laughs> I'm like, me and him are both hairy dudes. So we would just eat a shit ton of jalapenos, <laughs> and the first one to make it to the toilet <laughs> would pretty much be, uh, you know, Bloody Harry. No, 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 okay. The other one. Is it the other one the same outcome? <laughs> well, we only had one bathroom. Uh, <laughs> so the other one was just holding it Where's longer. the other one? Shit. I mean, Who shits his pants? Don't shit. Uh, he's just scary, Bloody If you bloody ain't Harry. first, you're last. <laughs> yes. So, Kev, you were saying it's like a gateway drug? Yeah, (laughs) you're my gateway drug. Mm. But yes, it is said to be a gateway to the spirit world. And mirrors have always had a weird and mysterious like paranormal quality to them, Mm. like trapping souls or spirits. Or if you break a mirror, you have seven years of bad luck. Or if you break a mirror, the spirit living inside of it gets broken free. There's a lot of superstitious things about them. Can we just break off for a second? For real, how are mirrors made? Mm. No one... Do any of our friends ever work on a mirror factory just making mirrors and shit? Where the fuck do they come from? How do they even get here? I've never known a single person to ever be like, oh, yeah, my spare time would just make mirrors and shit. Like, no one does this shit. They come from somewhere, dude. And I think it's Area 51. <laughs> it could be, man. But, we might have to cover Area 51 soon. Yeah, yeah, but, Tooth, do you know anybody who, like, says that they make bicycles for a living either? Or Doritos? One of Logan's... uh Buddies and Shelby used to make bikes. What about Doritos? Uh, yeah, about Doritos. Yeah, about Doritos. Yeah, yeah, about Doritos. Doritos. <laughs> or ping pong balls. Brindo. <laughs> ping pong balls. I don't know why that's so funny. Is Doritos Lay's? Yeah, I yeah, think. Brindo right? worked at a Lay's factory. Hmm. All right. All it's, getting, it's getting more plausible. All right. He's way. got us here. So that is like the main version that I grew up knowing, the one where you stand in front of the mirror and you say, I believe in Bloody Mary three times. Mm. I actually remember trying it once as a kid, but I didn't see Bloody Mary Mm. in the mirror. I saw myself as the Gryffindor team captain (laughs) and also head boy. So it was a big day for me. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know what head boy is. I wrote that for you, too. You thought you were wearing the sorting hat, but it was just your hair. Oh, fuck yeah. Have you guys actually tried it before? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, I wasn't kidding when I said that all of us did Mm -hmm. in elementary school. I did it one time, and I forget honestly what house it was, but I just went in the bathroom, turned off the lights, 
I said Bloody Mary three times and freaked out so fucking oh, yeah. hard that I just opened the door and ran to my room. Yeah, dude, yeah. you get scared shitless. No matter, nothing happens, yeah. but it's still scary. If you guys are up to it at the end of this podcast, I think we should maybe try it. I mean, I think we're all up to it. See what happens. Except for Andrew. I don't think Andrew's up to I it. Guess, He's yeah. a fucking pussy. I don't want that kid to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, uh, or, uh, scared. I, uh, <laughs> scared. So, do you guys know of any, what were like the variations of this game that you guys grew up knowing? Was it the same one or did, like sometimes I've heard, I believe in Bloody Mary, you say mm-hmm. it three times or 13 times or just yeah. Bloody Mary. There's the um, one where you're supposed to add in, like they you killed her kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah which we, we did that one uh-huh. and that one's like, it's not going to make a difference unless you believe in it. If you do, you know, okay. It does make it more creepy because you're like, okay, if this is real, I'm pissing this bitch off. Yeah. You know, saying that I killed her kid. So, yeah, yeah it's, uh, I, I, I heard of that one. I, I think we mostly did that one, but I, I've heard pretty much all of them. I've heard this. Well, I've never seen this version played, but I've heard it played. At least I heard, like, I just assume that's what my dad was doing, was mm. playing this game. Because sometimes, like, off in their room, in their bathroom, I'd hear him yell sometimes, Tell that pussy he's not my son. <laughs> but. <laughs> Is that, yeah. I heard that's what our dads usually do when they hang out together. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I've also heard of people chanting, Hell Mary. And supposedly that would bring forth Satan. Oh, wow. Then, Brings back Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then also like Bloody Mary, I Killed Your Baby, like Tim mentioned. Yeah, yeah. And then also I Believe in Mary Worth is one that yeah, i Yeah, yeah, I remember that one, yeah. There's some version that involves like drinking tomato juice, which just sounds disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that stuff's actually good. I really like I've that never alcohol. Had one it's of good. Them. You have to like vegetables and stuff like that though to to like it because it's like tomato I don't know. juice. I didn't really like Terry Shiva that much. Oh, oh, shit. oh holy shit! Oh. Out of fucking left field with that one, Spence. I enjoy that. I got this stupid one. Bloody. I've heard a variation called Bloody Mary J. You say Bloody Mary J three times in the mirror, and then Snoop Dogg shows up, <laughs> and he's got a cold sore, and he and he and he pulls the blood away from it, and you can see there's blood on the end of it, <laughs> and he reaches through the mirror and gives it to you. <laughs> Hey, man, in a pinch, that'd be handy. So if the ritual is done right, Bloody Mary should be summoned. And it is said that she will appear in the mirror and either you will be driven mad or she'll scratch you, disfigure your face, or uh, just scare you away. I've also read that some people claim that summoning Bloody Mary is just a clever way to get killed or worse, expelled. Oh, fuck. I wrote that, yes, <laughs> I wrote that one for yes. you too, Tim. Yeah, that's, little, little, that's my last Harry Potter joke, dude, I think. Make more. When you no. when you said Bloody Mary can disfigure you, I yeah. was like, so how many times did Brian Pepper say Bloody Mary then? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that is. <laughs> He's like that gray skinned little goblin sex offender dude. Oh, okay, gotcha. Don't talk about James Ellsworth that way. <laughs> <laughs> but no, the the scratching thing. Used to piss me off when I was a kid because every time anybody got a scratch, like after we do that shit, there's oh, Bloody Mary did it. Like, yeah. no, no, he fucking didn't. All right, I don't know, Tim, were you in there? I, no, I wasn't in there, but <laughs> like, no, I was like, <laughs> I, like, I was just like a little kid, like, yeah. and that scared me even more. Like, that bitch is gonna fucking scratch me when I'm sleeping and shit. <laughs> you like went into the locker room and like said, and everyone came back. It's like, oh, dude, she scratched you. Like, no, <laughs> it's our fucking our gym teacher is just aggressive. All right. <laughs> <laughs> And I've read in one of the oldest Bloody Mary rituals that in order to do it, a girl is to walk up a set of stairs backwards while holding a small mirror and a lit candle. And as the girl looked into the mirror, she was supposed to be able to get a glimpse of her future husband's face. Yeah. But there was also a risk in all this for the girl could possibly see a skull in the mirror instead. And that means that she was destined to die alone before ever marrying. Wow. That's kind of a cool variation. Yeah, I that. think that was one of the earlier ones too. Pretty sure. Like, I think like the ones that I read, like the really early ones, were with, like about like telling your future and stuff like that. <laughs> like, I'm not even trying to make a joke. Is there like a Bloody Mary that like involved uh, Mary Jesus's mom thing? No, but we yeah. are going to talk about two Marys in the past, and some say that's where maybe this was based on. Mm. I thought we we're talking about Lord of the Rings people. and some say the game is no game at all it's very real and anyone foolish enough to summon bloody mary deserves the outcome that they receive so yeah some say it isn't real and that by being in a dimly lit room long enough and looking at a mirror you'll start to hallucinate or distort the image you're seeing thus making your mind just playing tricks on you yeah absolutely but who is bloody mary was she based on a real person well, maybe. So let's talk about the history a little bit and find out exactly who she was. 
The first on our list is Queen Mary, who actually had the nickname Bloody Mary. Why did she have that nickname? Well, because in her effort to make England more Catholic, she had close to 300 people burned at the stake. Wow. And if you look at a painting of her, it's like super weird and creepy. And if I was held at gunpoint and forced to jerk off to a painting, and I only had two choices of paintings between Queen Mary and Vigo the Carpathian, <laughs> I would go with Vigo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, command me, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. That's the painting from Ghostbusters, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And another reason she earned the nickname Bloody Mary was because she had a history of false pregnancies and possible miscarriages also. Fuck that bitch. Oh, fuck <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wouldn't, like, any Bloody Mary be any girl, like, around 13 in school? So, is that, <laughs> wouldn't that be the tease? You know, there is Could actually a, a, his, a history of that's how this whole thing started. Just the beginning off. of the movie Carrie, but with a chick named Mary. <laughs> Some say she was such a bringer of death that that's why she was unable to bring any life into the world and therefore cannot have any children. She would convince herself that she was pregnant, she would be bedridden and gain weight, and doctors would prepare for a birth and then nothing. And then she would get super depressed and she probably killed more people because of this, because of her emotions. Wow. And one of the legends of the Bloody Mary game states that the player must chant, Bloody Mary, I have your baby. Or Bloody Mary, I killed your baby. And that's where that supposedly came from. Oh, okay. But was she the first ideal and basis for the Bloody Mary legend? Do I feel like any of those symptoms just describes a girl? I'm bloated. I think I'm pregnant. <laughs> oh, I got to take a shit. <laughs> Bloody Mary was always falsified for trying to take shits and lying about it. <laughs> I know I just took a 15 minute break, but I really got to take a oh shit right God. now. Bloody Mary is just me like fucking like five years ago at work. <laughs> I mean, I'll shit there now, but before I wouldn't do it. Next up, we have Mary, Queen of Scots. Her story is a little bit different, though. Mary actually married her cousin, the Earl of Darnley. And at some point, Darn he had... <laughs> At some point, he had stabbed a man over 50 times in front of Mary while she was pregnant. And shortly after that, the Earl of Darnley had mysteriously died. And then, right after that, Mary had remarried to a man who was the main person suspected in murdering Darnley. Wow. So that's kind of weird. Yeah. People started blaming Mary and point fingers at her for the death. And she panicked and took her infant son to travel away. She eventually went to go stay with her cousin, Queen Elizabeth, hoping huh? that she would be able to protect her. But Elizabeth wasn't having that. She feared that Mary would maybe try to take her throne, so Elizabeth had her thrown in prison for 19 years. During her time in prison, Mary had tried to escape many times. Mm -hmm. There were also many conspiracy talks that were flying around that involved Mary trying to either escape or overthrow to take the throne, things like that. Or assassinate JFK. Or assassinate JFK. And so Queen Elizabeth decided, fuck it, off with her head. We find out she was that lady on the grassy knoll that nobody can find. <laughs> <laughs> she uh, didn't even use a gun. She just queefed from that far away and blew JFK's head off. <laughs> this, uh, it must be uh, related to her then because I've inherited that talent. <laughs> this version of Bloody Mary, uh, she also ghostwrited for DMX. <laughs> they put me in prison for 19 years. <laughs> Want to fight me? Fight these tears. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. Mary was sentenced to death by beheading, and unfortunately for her, it took the executioner many attempts to kill oh, her, God. so I'm guessing he might have been the axe man of New Orleans oh, also. Fuck yeah, dude. We dude. fucking figured that out. Actually, Ludwig told me that story in history class. Like, back then, it was common for the ladies to have, like, these big sleeves, and they would keep, like, little pet dogs, like, in the sleeve sometimes. Mm -hmm. Nice. And her little dog came out of the sleeve as, like, her head was there and started, like, licking up the blood. Oh, <laughs> oh nice. I also heard since we're, like, clearing up, like, other uh, mysteries that we've done, I heard, uh, like, right after all this happened, the Mothman was there. <laughs> <laughs> Throw that in there, too. And it's also said that once she was beheaded, the executioner tried to lift up her head and yell out long. <laughs> live the queen uh. but he picked her head up by the wig making her head fall to the ground and roll in front of him like a goofy little goon burger oh fuck yeah <laughs> wait dude how what was her relation to the queen she was a queen but she left her country to go to her cousins which was queen elizabeth hoping oh. that she would protect her because everyone was accusing her of that murder oh i thought she was like the niece or something like the princess because like if she left and like she took her husband with her would that kingdom need a new fresh prince 
Oh, <laughs> yes, again. Fuck, 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 yeah. Yes. That kid's good. Yes. Except it had to be a new Earl. <laughs> <laughs> there are a few other possibilities on who Bloody Mary was based on, but these were the main two that I wanted to talk about. There is also another person who I'm not going to go into too much detail for because we might actually do an episode on her in the future. Mm. But she was a Hungarian serial killer named Elizabeth huh. that was nicknamed the Blood Countess. Oh, okay. And uh, she's also like really super interesting to read about. Yeah. She belonged to a royal family in the 1500s. Mm. She killed anywhere from 30 to upwards of 600 people. I know yeah. that's a huge gap, but they mm. really don't know. She owned a castle. Yeah, I and a bunch of girls were disappearing from the area mm. and uh, were getting killed. And mm. there were also reports of like cannibalism and torturing, all that fun stuff. Yeah. And some say she was even one of the main inspirations for Dracula. Yeah, also. actually, um, if you uh, want to watch like a kind of stupid but kind of fun horror movie about this chick, like that, it's loosely based off of it, but watch the movie Stay Alive. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, because yeah, that's the uh, the horror game that they play. Like it's got like that's Frankie that Muniz in it, right? Yeah, it does. Okay. Yeah, the chick in that um, is basically based off of the girl that they're talking about. Oh, that's cool. I didn't mm. know that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like she like kill the uh, the women and like bathe in their blood, and she thought it made them younger, which I'm pretty sure. Oh, is yeah, so. that's a huge. Mm. That's a huge thing. Too, yeah, about the using blood to make mm. make them younger. Yeah, which that is, it still is a pretty cool story. I mean, it's fucked up, but I mean yeah. to read about it's cool. In case we don't do a podcast about her, can I just mention one of the ways I've heard that she's actually killed someone? Yeah. Um, she was known for having like triple E titties. Like they were outrageous. <laughs> and she would lay on her side and put one, the head of her victim on her boob and she would lift the other one up what? and she's like, say hello to the Tommy knockers and she'd <laughs> smash them together. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> Dude, it's crazy though, because a lot of people don't know like about like how she died, but uh, she was actually murdered by Kevin because you know she had those big tits. <laughs> <laughs> Those some nice titties, girl. <laughs> but Kev- too bad for you. Daddy's an axe man. <laughs> she didn't laugh at it, so Kev wasn't fucking having that no, shit, man. Nope. But a lot of people don't know about the motive for why this is so dumb. No, oh, what's, dude, what's no, the come motive? on, man. What's Ours the motive? Good. The, the motive. motive that she had for why for behaving this way in the first place was her family. They were Hungarian, but they originally came from Africa. They lived along the Nile River, and once they got to Hungary, they were called the Hungarian <laughs> Hungarian hippos. <laughs> That was good, Fuck dude. Yes, that dude. was good, Spence. Oh, Every like time Spence does a joke and like tries to bail, we're like, no, dude, just yeah, tell it. It's, it's always super fucking good. good yeah. dude. I liked it. I liked it a lot. All righty. So now we're going to talk about the popularity of Bloody Mary in, in our culture. Mm. They say that the tale has been around for hundreds of years, but as far as I can tell, the actual game of the urban legend never became popular until like the 60s or 70s, uh, 1960s or 1970s. Mm. In those years, however, there wasn't much of a connection between the Queens and Bloody Mary. It was kind of just a game that was made up to play at parties and sleepovers. I I'm, could be super wrong. Yeah. You know, but I mean, pieces. that's that's what I've seen. And it seems like after that game got popular, people started making the connection between yeah. the Queens in the past. I mean, I could mm. be super wrong, like I said, but that's what it looks like so no, far. It, definitely. I mean, it's it's an easy game for kids to make up. Oh. I mean, we all had those games when we were kids. Like we, we used to have one. Actually, my sister listens to us sometimes, so she'll remember. But we used to have one where uh, my mom would lay on the floor and she would try to grab us like off the couch and stuff. <laughs> and we just called it Jason, which is supposed to be like <laughs> Friday the Thirteenth. Like I'm not even lying. Like this actually happened. This has nothing to do with this urban legend. But one time in like second grade, me and my friend were at his grandma's house. We were pissing in the same toilet. <laughs> like we were crossing streams. Nice. And for some reason, his grandma's laundry was on there and oh, one of yeah. us turned real quick and pissed on the laundry and then we both just start pissing all over her laundry <laughs> i'm so sorry oh man like i'm so dude, sorry to that lady yeah, we were dude. kids you know yeah sorry I, how long ago was that uh like, what uh like october 18th no it was, uh, i was in, like second grade. i was just gonna crack a joke that it was the reason for the cleveland the torso murders uh, <laughs> just because i keep referencing his old podcast on my fucking sweater <laughs> So uh, I didn't know all, everyone else's family did like games like that. Like we kind of played something like that. Uh, I have a aunt. Uh, no, she's a cousin. A cousin. Her name's Mary Elizabeth, <laughs> and she's a lesbian. We call her Bloody Mary when she was a uh, horny on her lover's uh, time of the month. Yes. Oh shit! Get it? Because they'd sixty nine. Yeah. No, we got we got it too. <laughs> 
Like, Pretty sure any viewers we had just quit, but I mean, they got it too. We called we her a pirate because one. we called her <laughs> Mary the Redbeard. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Uh, and there's also stories of the Bloody Mary being known as a woman named Mary Worth. But besides a comic strip, I really couldn't find any information on why Mary Worth was related to the Bloody Mary urban legend or why whatever the connection was. I really yeah. couldn't find a whole lot about that. Yeah, I looked like stuff on her too because I remember the last name and all that. So I almost guarantee that stuff that we thought. Like I, I remember the name Mary Worth, I swear, but yeah, same Mary. I couldn't find anything on it at all. And folklorist Alan Dunes suggests that the game Bloody Mary was actually made as a metaphor for the onset of puberty in girls. Because mm. with that, you have the females' mixed emotions of fear and also excitement at the same time. And that's kind of what the game is made up of. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Also, I think it was just created so Candyman could exist. Yeah, I mentioned Candyman later, actually. Oh, fuck yeah, <laughs> dude. There's also those chain emails that went around in like oh, the man. 2000s. And yeah. I'm sure probably everyone here has gotten them at some point. Oh, my grandparents still send them around. Is this is what uh, Hillary Clinton's team uses <laughs> so when people mysteriously die around her? <laughs> yeah, they just didn't forward it. That's all. <laughs> like, they get the email, but Hillary deletes it. Oh. Uh-huh. I will say, I was hoping somebody at least get a little good. giggle out but of that. But e- even oh, though, good. like, with that email, like, it has nothing to do with the Bloody Mary urban legend. Mm. But, it, but in the 2000s, it made it real popular again. You know, when I was on my computer, I wasn't looking at emails. I was looking at she mails. Can you feel it? <laughs> <laughs> and Z mail. Send it off to Zoom. I've seen people that are like, like friend that I'm friends with on Facebook. Not those emails. Uh, send this and Jesus will bless you in like an hour or yeah. whatever bullshit. Like, no, it's always friends, moms. That yeah. Post it. Like, no, no, he's not. He's not going to guys. I also like the ones where it's like in all cap. It's like resend this Facebook. Do not share my pictures. Oh, my God. God. Like it's always yeah. like always in all caps, stupid shit or, like that. Or it's like, yeah, Facebook is gonna make this change where they're like, give your uh, location to sexual predators. <laughs> no, no, they're not. Good. No, they're fucking not. Maybe I'll fucking get laid once in a while then. <laughs> well, I mean, Andrew already knows where you live. Wait, that's <laughs> true. So does that mean I'll just get everyone's location then? <laughs> That's uh, that's how we met too. And also, there are many movies <laughs> that's that why were. Toof is here right now. <laughs> exactly. There are also many movies based on the urban legend. Mm. Like there's that one movie called Urban Legend. Yeah. I don't know if you guys no, heard there that actually one. is an urban legend, Bloody Mary. <laughs> that's uh, it's not a bad movie, really. And then, as Tim mentioned, the Clive Barker film Candyman, which was all obviously based on the Bloody Mary uh, legend too. The 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 first one's fun. Yeah. Wouldn't go much further than that. I, Clive, Clive Barker is super cool, though. Mm. I like him. I like a lot of his interviews and stuff. He's, yeah. he's an entertaining dude. guy. Yeah, Andrew likes super him a lot. Super fucking smart, dude. Mm. Yeah, he says a lot of his like monsters and ideas and shit. He got his ideas from stories his grandma would tell him as Holy a kid. Holy crap, dude. Yeah. Maybe she was telling him the Bloody Mary story. Maybe she was Bloody Mary. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's actually all like the main information I have for oh. Bloody Mary. I was on their Wikipedia. There's the one that came out in 99. That's probably Urban Legend Bloody Mary. No. Oh. Ready to rumble. Oh, <laughs> yes, Remember in the beginning of the movie, he stares in the mirror and he says, like, one day I'm going to make it as a wrestler, blah, blah, blah. Well, if you watch it backwards, <laughs> yes. he says, bloody Mary. He turns into a fucking foreign cab driver when he fucking says it. Foreign Uber driver. Okay. All right. Had to add that in. Yeah. So, um, was there anything else you guys wanted to add in or talk about before we try the actual Bloody Mary thing ourselves? I mean, I think. Uh, what about the drink? Say. I don't know. Isn't it, like, is it just like orange uh, V8? I can't remember the actual liquor that's in it, but a lot of people put like salt and pepper and like celery. The celery. Yeah. Why, why is it called that? Probably, probably red. red. I should probably ask my cousin. She might know. <laughs> 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 All righty. So as we mentioned earlier in the podcast, we're going to try the whole Bloody Mary thing ourselves. Uh, Tim brought out a candle for us, so we're going to go ahead and uh, take that with us, light it. Yep. And one at a time, we're going to go into the bathroom, close mm. the door, turn the light off, and try this. And if anything happens, we'll keep it on here because we're going to do it live. Yeah. And if nothing happens, we'll just cut this whole thing out and none of you guys will even hear any of this. Should I take my microphone with me or are we just going like, to yeah. share our experiences? No, we're going to go one at a time and uh, take our microphone. One person will take a microphone in with them record it and if you want to you can share what happens when you come out or you can just keep it to yourself and that way whenever you guys listen to this you'll be hearing it for the first time yeah it could be fun i don't know do we yeah. have to be fully clothed or 
Can we just go in on our birthday suits? I mean, I, w- <laughs> I hope I hope you go in your birthday suit. You can do it however you want. I'll go. I'm gonna go first though. If that's cool. All right. Can I go after you? Because I gotta take a shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure. All right. Sure. Okay. So I'm gonna go first. All right. You guys ready? Yep. All right. So I got the candle, and I'm gonna head into the bathroom now. All right. So I'm in the bathroom now. Let me go ahead and close the door and turn the light off. I'm gonna set my candle right here. This is actually a lot scarier than I thought it was gonna be. It's kind of creepy, honestly. Kevin, for real, don't don't take too long. I really gotta take a shit. All right, I'm gonna close my eyes. So here goes nothing. <clears throat> I believe in Bloody Mary. I believe in Bloody Mary. I believe in Bloody Mary. And now I'm going to open them. Oh shit. Oh my god. I I think I actually fucking see something. Like I see like an outline. I can't really tell if it's a person or not. It looks like they might have glasses on, though. And, oh, holy shit, she's reaching through the mirror. She's grabbing my hog. Oh, my. Oh, she's giving me a hand job. Holy fuck. This is the. Holy shit, this is the best hand job I've ever gotten in my life. I'm getting close. Oh, let me flip the light on. The, what the fuck, Andrew? What the fuck are you doing in here? God damn it, dude. Just don't fucking tell anyone about this. Dude, Kev, how was it? Dude, what the, what the, f- how did you get out of here so quick, Andrew? We've been out of here the whole time, man. Dude, he was just in the fucking bathroom with me. How'd you get out of here? I'm surprised you wanted to go first, Kev. You know, I'm going to give you a hand. Give me a hand, Andrew. Haven't you already done that? No. No. I, no. All right, cool. Get out of the hallway. I got to take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> just, just be careful in there, Toof. I'm, I'm hurting. Take, I'm take, I got the microphone. Uh, is the candle already in there? Fuck, I'm just going in there. All right, sitting in the bathroom, taking a shit. <laughs> Good thing there's already a candle in here. <laughs> Am I right? All right, let's just check out what's on X videos real quick. Nothing. I'll go to Pornhub. Oh, fuck, I'm supposed to do something in here. Uh, oh, the mirror's facing me. All right, cool. It's like one of those full body mirrors. Uh, I forgot what the fuck it's called. I think I have to Google it. Shit. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary, I have your son. Or I am your son. I don't know. What the fuck? All right, dude, this is a prank. Because this is a, must be like one of those mirrors that's like digital, like lights up and tells you your weather and shit. Because like there's something showing up here. Oh, whoa, it's a fine ass chick. Oh, whoa. Oh, shit, I was already jacking off anyway. Might as well continue. <laughs> All right. the shittiest porno ever. Was it softcore? Oh, shit. I'm still on my phone. This is granny porn. <laughs> Tranny granny porn. Fuck. It's not even a mirror. It's my phone still. <laughs> I can't see shit in here, man. I don't think anything's going on. I wonder if the microphone picks that up. Can you guys hear that? Ah. <sighs> All right, well, might as well go out there and tell some stupid fucking lie like I always do. All right, guys, I'm done. Toof, how'd it go, man? Dude, all right. So I said what I had to say in the mirror, man, and the fucking figure showed up, man. There's like fire and shit everywhere, and like blood starts shooting out of the mirror and stuff, man. I was getting scared. Like, I'm still sweating from it, man. Like, my arm's all sore because I thought I had to like fight her off and stuff. Holy Uh shit. Dude, it was scary as fuck. Fuck, man. Nice. And Holy like, shit. She releases like some kind of like swamp smell or something. I don't know if like she's like from a swamp or a grave or something. Like I could smell her rotting, shitty flesh, man. <laughs> oh it's God. crazy, dude. Holy shit. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't have nothing like that yeah. when I went in there. That's crazy. Um, you think I'm making this up? No, I believe you. Are I you just, fucking... No. It happened. I know. I saw something too, but it was nothing like that. I, I believe you though. Yeah. Yeah. I believe you. You guys, you guys mind if I go next? I kind of want to get mine over with. Yeah. Wait about like... Five minutes. <laughs> oh well, I kind of just want to get it over with. I'm like kind of creeped out from it. So, uh, all right, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna go in there now. Alrighty. Uh, Tuf, did you leave the candle in there? Oh yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I'm going in here and it's 
uh, I can already. I think I already smell what Tooth was talking about. Uh, that's I, that kind of smells like shit. I don't know if that's what Tooth meant or. All right, so I got the candle. Oh, I'm sweating already. I think it might be kind of because of the shit though. But uh, I believe in Bloody Mary. I believe in Bloody Mary. I believe in Bloody Mary. Oh, well, nothing's happening. It's, the candle's kind of flickering, and it, I, I feel like I can't move. I, I don't know why, but I can't, like, move my feet. I I don't know what's happening. Wait. It actually just kind of feels like my feet are stuck to the floor. Hang on a second. Tooth, did you come on my fucking floor? No. It's Bloody Mary, dude. All right, guys, nothing happened. I, I, I just, I, I think Tooth came on my floor. <laughs> you didn't see anything, dude? No, I, it smelled really bad in there. But oh. besides that, I, I thought like I couldn't move, but I think somebody just came on my floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, man. All right, well, who's going to go next? All right, shit, I might as well go in there. Hopefully it's fucking aired out by now a little bit. Hey, Andrew. I'm uh, shutting the door. Don't forget to turn the light off. Oh, good. That's a good thing because I almost forgot the light. Thank you. Thanks, Tim. All right. No, oh, thank God. Oh, shit. The candle's out. I got to fucking reach around and try and light this fucking candle in the dark. All right. All right. Candle's lit. The candle's lit. All right. How's this go, Gid? Pretty sure last time we did this, she tried to fuck me in the ass. All right. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary, your pussy is really hairy. Bloody Mary. All right. I'm supposed to open my eyes now, right? All right. I don't see anything, but I feel something. Man, I feel this weird pressure in the back of my ass. It's weird. What the hell is that? Huh. I don't know. All right. I'm out of here. It's too dark. I'm turning the light back on. That's scary as fuck in here. All right, guys, I'm done. What up, man? How'd it go, dude? I don't, it went pretty good. I kept feeling this weird pressure in my ass. I don't know. It's well, pretty, pretty good. Tooth got up for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Tooth. All right, sounds like we're actually seeing shit. I can't wait to actually listen to all this on the, on the podcast and hear what all yeah. you guys said since you got the microphones with you. Yeah, exactly. All right, last but definitely not least, Spence, are you man oh, enough? Maybe least. All right, here I go. <laughs> Here I go. Good thing I'm already wearing my water shoes to walk down that floor. <laughs> I got this clothespin for my nose, too. So, yeah. All right. Here we go. Down the hall. Candle's already on. It's good. Uh, oh, it looks like we're running out of wax, so we're about done. Candle's getting low. Oh, oh well, I guess I better make this quick. Um, okay, so... I believe in Bloody Mary. I believe in Bloody Mary. I believe in Bloody Mary. Okay, nothing's that. Wait, wait. Okay, some kind of like a. Oh, there's like a silhouette there in the mirror. Dang, it looks kind of like the chick from Lights Out. It's freaking creepy. What's that? What are you saying? Speak up, woman. Fine, I'll lean in closer. That, that seems like a really good idea. Oh, you're going to tell me my future. Wow. Thank you so much for letting me know that ahead of time. That is that is good to know. Thank you very much. Hey guys. Hey, what up man? How'd it go, dude? Guys, it, it was really it was really cool actually. Nice. <clears throat> so I said the I said the thing. Yeah. And she appeared in the mirror. Mm. Um she looked kinda like uh like the chick from Lights Out. Ooh. Oh, oh shit. That's creepy. Yeah, that's pretty scary. Fuck that. But she was actually really cool. She was like, she's gonna tell me my future. Ooh, hell yeah. Okay, I came on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by that point, that was in my past. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and what we're she... going to put the past behind us. <laughs> Shit. All right, what did she say, dude? She said that in a couple days, I'm going to be playing against the Cavaliers. And I'm going to break my foot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gordon. Get out of here, you son of a bitch. <laughs> but I'm wondering if she might have made an error and told me the wrong message. <laughs> I think so. I was meant for somebody else. <laughs> now some other guy in Boston is going to be told like uh, that he's just going to sit in his room and smoke weed the next week. <laughs> <laughs> but somehow that's also still correct. She got him, she got him mixed up. Yeah. 
So that sucks, man. You guys all saw her had something crazy happen, and I just stepped on Tooth's cum. So uh, that was pretty. I cool. saw her. I saw shit. Yeah. There's <laughs> fire and like swamp stuff. Yeah. You must have been really excited Wait, did about it. Did you see shit or just smell your own <laughs> shit? <laughs> <laughs> well, alrighty. I guess I think that's everything we got for our Halloween episode, right? Yeah, I think so. That was kind of a fun experiment to try at the end of there. So hopefully everyone else will enjoy it. And I'm interested to listen to see what all happened to all you guys when yeah. you're in there. Tooth definitely experimented with something. All right. Thanks for listening, everybody. Any which way you can support the Brothers Commonplace, uh, we definitely appreciate that. And here are some of the ways. You can find the Brothers Commonplace anywhere you like to listen to podcasts, but especially iTunes or what are we on Stitcher? I know we're on that app CastBox, which I use nowadays. Oh, yeah. uh, and any of those places, leave us a review. And or leave a positive comment. All of that is just fine, fine, like gold. We just love it. We just, do love it. Just like the we frogs. We swim splash, in it like baby. Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> the gold, all the gold comments and reviews. All, all the, these things are all true. the stars. We I, love the stars. I also made a brother's commonplace grinder. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Swipe right. <laughs> Swipe right. I know the Twitter is Bros Commonplace. Is yes, the Facebook sir. also Bros Commonplace? I think the Facebook is just Brothers Commonplace. Maybe you know, send us some gift cards or just a positive. Uh, <laughs> Give some extra Take money. Take us out. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. we deserve something oh, nice yeah. once in a while. Yeah, I mean, even if it's the Wendy's, that's where I took I, my first date. So. I bought this red dress. You know, I want to wear it somewhere. Let's um, do this. Yeah, he got his on Friday. <laughs> I just came downstairs to grab a banana. So I just want to ask the listeners, were you looking at the woman in the red dress? Oh, Oh, nice. Or actually, I guess, were you looking at the Asian woman in the red dress? Oh, hello. So thanks again, everyone. And we really appreciate all the people that have sent us uh, reviews and ratings and those five stars, like I mentioned earlier, just like the frog splash, baby. That's right. And shout out to my Florida friends, because after I complained and whined like a little girl <laughs> that none of you guys downloaded, we Come went on, from one to like 18. Oh, okay. So right. thank Fine, you, guys. Mark. It. Come on, Mark. Thanks, you sexy boy. You bitch, Mark. You <laughs> sexy bitch. Uh, Andrew, words of wisdom. Um... I've been finding us brothers commonplace stuff like advertisements when I'm like well on like X videos or Red Tube. Yeah. So that's all if you guys are, you know, whacking the meat, it's another good place to find us too. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So yeah. thanks for letting us know two weeks in a row that that's where <laughs> and I also like that when you said brothers commonplace you were confused. Like you didn't know that was the name or not. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Actually, uh, you guys can't see him, but as he was saying that, he was actually looking up porn, so <laughs> <laughs> he was a little distracted. All righty, so thank you, everyone, for listening. Be Nope, fuck. How do I fuck that up, everyone? Be After good. I rip on Andrew for <laughs> it, you know? Here, let me, let me. I got it. Everyone out there listening, I want you all know, kumbaya. <laughs> Be good. <laughs> stay safe. And laugh at the dark stuff. Those sweet, sweet dark chocolate M&Ms on the dark stuff. <laughs> Staying in, Spence. I actually really like that at the end. <laughs>